Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna show you some uh, really quickly how to fix issues like this dark spot on armor, or any really any model you're working with. These are really obnoxious, and they happen after typically using the knife tool to cut anything into the polygons. So what you want to do is you want to collect, uh, select all the polygons that are affected by the dark spot. You could use this one, faces, uh, surf faces. But I, I just for the for purpose of this video, I'm gonna collect it with this. So you're gonna do that. You want to hit space and you want to search set normals from face it won't be there by default you have to type it in uh you could actually do it with the whole area usually i can select the whole area and it's better because it'll fix them all and that's how you fix that problem so another another problem that is arised from using the knife tool is You take the knife and you cut it and it just adds a bunch of these extra little uh, points that you don't really need you just needed a really long straight line and these can usually cause an issue with that you want to merge them all together now this also helps prevent any unnecessary issues with the rigging because there's no doubled polygons in the area anymore which is good because you don't want doubles doubles are bad they make uh, they don't they, they make things look sharp which is how like the muscles and shirts are done like this that's what you that's the only reason you really want to use doubles and like lines on the uh, hair to make them sharper looking but typically for stuff surface like this you don't want it like this area you don't want it to be sharp randomly in the middle it looks bad and it makes it look sloppy you don't want that so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna clean those up just because now I actually had a bunch of issues that were created with this armor See now, that's what happens when it created a double line and show it a bit better. You don't want that. Now there's a dot in the middle of this line and it's creating a sharp. So you don't want that. Just merge it and it's gone. And make sure there's no shadows. Nope, this would be good. So when these issues occur, and even if we once you've exported the object into and put it into Xenoviewer, the issue you'll end up seeing is polygons are unrigged or something isn't rigged right and like after a knife tool cut even after you've cleaned up the cut it's still having issues you want to go into the weight paint object make sure your object is selected uh anything that's caught that the issue is caused on and then you want to hit limit totals it'll tell you that any uh, vertex weights are limited it'll fix any of the issues at all what it basically does from what my understanding is it takes rigging from the polygon that's near it and it just kind of like mixes them together so it, it works correctly. I'm not entirely sure if that's how it works, but that's how I think it works. And that'll typically fix any of the issues that occur with that specific issue. Uh, that's basically everything that I can think to cover right now. If, any, if anybody wants any more tutorials on how to do certain things with Blender or any issues they're having, let me know. I'll, I can make another one, make a couple more, whatever. I only do 2.7. I will not work on 2.8. I hate it. I don't like anything about it, except for the UI design. I think the UI looks much nicer. And that's basically everything. Uh, have a good night.